On many cow-calf operations around the world, calving season is one of the busiest times and often requires long, extended hours of monitoring the calving lot, feeding, tagging, doctoring, and many other managerial tasks to keep the operation running as smoothly as possible. Today, we are going to dive into our calving operation here at Slifka Ag in central Montana, walk through what a typical day might look like for a handler, and run through the logistics that keep the calving process afloat. For us, calving season starts towards the end of February and will run until April. About 215 cows, ranging from heifers, or mothers who have not calved before, to experienced mothers, will be giving birth to newborn calves this year. The crew anticipates numerous challenges throughout this process, ranging from inclement weather with snow and cold temperatures, to calves being rejected by their mothers. Or, mothers who may need extra assistance during the calving process. Therefore, facilities need to be prepared for any event that can happen during the season. Heifers and all other pregnant cows are placed in their respective pens, located within walking distance of the house and a heated shop for feeding machinery and handling tools. This allows for the handler currently on duty, whether at early afternoon or at 3 a.m., to perform a check. During a check, the handler on duty will look for signs of a cow that is about to calve, such as restlessness, lying down, or a kinked tail or a cow that has already recently calved. The weather and many other factors dictates what exactly happens next. After a calf is tagged for identification, a cow-calf pair might immediately be sent to the maternity pen, where cow-calf pairs are held for up to a couple days and closely monitored. If weather conditions are poor or a cow needs additional assistance, the cow or cow-calf pair is instead sent to the barn. Our barn currently has severe space limitations and needs to be rebuilt into a larger facility, but we make it work for now. The barn can currently hold up to eight cow-calf pairs and helps keep pairs warm and well within range for more frequent checks by handlers, and also contains a calf warmer, which is used to quickly heat up a calf who may have been born in adverse weather conditions and might have otherwise died. Cows who might have backwards calves or simply need additional assistance undergo a calf pulling procedure that also takes place in the barn. Upon discovery of a problem that requires a calf pull, the procedure must happen in a prompt and timely manner to reduce the risk of severe injury or calf loss. Once conditions allow, pairs can leave the barn lot and move to the maternity pen. Pairs currently placed in the maternity pen, who have already been there for about three days, will be ready to turn out into the pasture, where pairs will be much less confined. Pairs who are ready to be turned out are sorted off from the rest and placed in a staging area, where the calf is vaccinated with Alpha-7 for the prevention of common diseases, and elastrated if the calf is a male. Pairs are then released to the pasture, where they will remain until it's time to brand calves at the end of calving season. There are a few times during the season where a cow might have a set of twins and accepts only one of the calves as her own, therefore harshly rejecting the other. This other calf is not able to get any colostrum, or the first milk produced by the mother that includes antibodies essential to get the calf off to a healthy start, and will not last very long unless rescued by a handler. These orphan calves are cared for by handlers who must feed a milk replacer to these calves. If another mother loses her calf, this orphan calf can sometimes be matched up with the new mother using a grass crafting technique. The cows need to be fed throughout calving season. Therefore, alfalfa bales and a bale processor are used to lay out feed for them. In the morning, someone will start up the loader tractor, which is attached to the bale processor. Three to four alfalfa bales are retrieved from the stack yard nearby and brought into the pasture, where they are individually loaded into the processor, which unwraps and lines out the feed for the cows. PTO on. In the afternoon, the same process is done in the calving pen for cows who have not yet calved. Feeding in the mid-afternoon has helped to reduce the amount of calves born during the night shifts and therefore helps the calving process run a bit more smoothly. 
Between the frequent checks, calf pulls, orphan calves, working around inclement weather, and chaotic spikes in activity, the calving process is far from an easy, predictable job. It takes someone who is willing to put in extended hours of hard work after nights of little to no sleep, someone who goes the extra mile to save an animal's life, and someone who has a passion for what they do to make this entire operation possible. This side of the beef production story is rarely covered by media, so if you liked what you saw here and found this video to be informative, please let us know by hitting the like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing so that you can stay in the loop when we release future videos. And be sure to thank a farmer or rancher for providing your next meal.